This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at antibiotic resistance. Antibiotic resistance is the ability of bacteria to resist the effects of an antibiotic. Bacterial resistance to antibiotics is caused by the misuse or overuse of antibiotics. Examples of misuse include the overprescription of penicillin for minor illnesses and the failure of patients to complete the course of antibiotics as prescribed by the doctor. Modifying the side chain results in penicillins that are more resistant to the penicillinase enzyme. The penicillinase enzyme is an enzyme that could deactivate the original form of penicillin, which was penicillin G. Here we can see the general structure of penicillin. In a previous video, we identified the beta-lactam ring as being responsible for penicillin's antibacterial properties. In addition to the beta-lactam ring, there's also a side chain which is represented by the letter R. In the table on the right, we can see some examples of different R groups and the drug name. Modifying the side chain results in different penicillins which are more resistant to the penicillinase enzyme. So the different side chains reduce the occurrence of penicillin resistant bacteria. This is because modified penicillins are able to withstand the action of the penicillinase enzyme. However, for treating certain diseases, such as tuberculosis, a cocktail of different types of antibiotics are required. The bacteria that cause TB are extremely resistant to penicillins, therefore a mixture of different antibiotics must be used. The side chain can also be modified to give increased resistance to breakdown by stomach acid, which means that the antibiotic can be taken orally. The original penicillin, which was penicillin G, had to be injected as it was broken down by stomach acid. Ampicillin is a modified penicillin and can be taken orally. And here we can see the side chain of ampicillin. This side chain gives increased resistance to breakdown by stomach acid, which means that ampicillin can be taken orally.